Tom here from Lauren Systems, and I have in my hands a Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And I've reviewed this before, but that review is now inaccurate because Unify made some changes. Now they've added some things, but they've also taken away. And that's what I want to talk about is, well, we'll start with the good news of what they added, which was the talk and access and LED controls are now available in there. And I thought when I reviewed the Unify access system, it was odd that you would only put it in the Dream Machine Pro. So they've corrected that. Thank you. But here is where the problems come in. And it starts in the 2024 firmware. Now, roll forward a little bit. The 2026 firmware is what's available now, and my cloud key is running 2026, so that's the latest as of January 23rd, 2021. Latest non-beta firmware available. And 2024, though, is where the major changes were made. And it's this whole centralized user access management, single sign-on to all controllers, single remote connection to the new cloud portal, and easy installation and management from different apps, controllers. It's the way they tie it to the cloud dashboard. And that is exactly where the problem is, in my opinion. They have decided that this will not set up without an internet access or a Unify account. And I have a feeling a lot of people in the Unify community, well, they may have some concern over that. Because if Unify ever decides to discontinue this product, it is their will to do so or not is completely going to be up to them, we don't know. They don't give us a roadmap for what is end of life necessarily on everything they do. So if they decide to discontinue this product, then you can't activate it anymore because it requires a cloud account and it requires the internet to get set up. And although you can, once you've activated online, add local users for management, um, it's still concerning that this can't be reset back up without an internet connection and tying to the unified cloud system. So that is a problem. The next problem is they removed the ability to do multi-site hosting. So if we look inside of here, normally you'd be able to see what site we're on and add another site. Now, this was a feature it's had for a long time, and we have a few clients that were using this to host maybe a couple small offices where they only have a few devices. There is certainly a device limitation. These are not designed to handle high, heavy load of a very large install of a Unify site, but they will handle a couple different sites with a few different devices on there, such as a Wi-Fi access point at each one of these small offices. And now the good news is if you upgrade it, you get to keep those sites, but you can't add any more. And we reset up ours as a in our lab here, well, kind of as a demo, and confirmed, yeah, once you set this up, there is no ability to add other sites. Kind of of note with the 6043 version that is on here, uh, we noticed in our self-hosted, it also is suggesting the best experience would come from buying a Dream Machine, which I thought was kind of odd when we add new sites. So it's still available in 6043 if you're using the self-hosted version, or in the case of Riley Chase and Hostify, he still offers it. And Hostify is actually where I was having a discussion about this, and Riley pointed out that it's now recommending this since 6043. And I'm like, huh, that's interesting. And I looked, and he is absolutely correct. When I add a new site to the 6043 controller, it suggests a Dream Machine. Back over to the cloud key. Um, it's kind of a confusing thing that Unify would remove a feature that was kind of a selling point. And I think something people liked, if you, especially if you, for example, I'm not a fan of them, I've made this very clear, but if you're using their Unify routing equipment, to me, the Unify routing equipment is very, very limited, but it did have one cool feature. If you took two different sites and you put them on one controller, such as a cloud key, it would make it really easy for you to create a VPN between them. So you would go to the two sites and you'd say VPN from site A to site B. That was actually one cool feature that was just great, I thought. You know, it made it easy for people who go, I don't care that the Unified routing equipment has a lot of limitations and is very, very basic in terms of functionality, but it did have the ability to at least go to site to site VPN and create them like very easy in a menu by clicking a couple buttons as opposed to a little bit more complex setup that you traditionally find when doing site to site VPNs. It would just map everything for you. Well, you've now removed that feature and that particular client we're talking about, that's what they do. They only need the most basic of routing functions, but they did have their sites tied together and uh, now they can't do it on a cloud key. So now they have to find a hosting solution, either A, hosting a server themselves of a self-hosted controller or B, uh, as I had mentioned, I've reviewed Hostify on this channel and uh, I've always saw them, Riley and the team over there is a great tool. Uh, 
I guess they're going to buy a Hostify subscription. So uh, good for Riley, bad for Unify because their plan is not to go buy a few more cloud keys because they feel kind of betrayed because the cloud key lost a feature that they weren't used to using. But I want to bring this information out there and just share it with the crowd. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you think over in our forums if you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this. But I just want to bring this up because I thought this was kind of a weird move on Unify's part to just yank these features out of the Unify. The uh, ability to set it up offline, which I almost was like weirded out a little bit when people started saying, I can't set my cloud key offline like you said in your previous video. I'm like, why not? I thought the user might have been having a problem. So we did confirm by master resetting that's a problem. And the when someone says, I can't figure out how to add another site, which was our client, we're like, what do you mean you can't add another site? And yeah, these type of surprises, I don't think users really like. But like I said, Leave some comments below, share your thoughts, and share your thoughts with Unify too. If you want to reach out to them, maybe they can do some clarification for how all of these things work or why they made these changes. Um, I certainly don't have any insight into why they did it. I best guess would be is that they want to sell more cloud keys and set one up for every single site, but that's not a solution that fits for everyone. And when you used to sell a product that changed without a product name change or anything like that. The product you have got a firmware update and lost features. That's generally enough to enrage a lot of people in the community that bought it for a reason and now lost some of those features. And I don't know, that just doesn't sit well with me. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.